beautiful people. Hey Libra, this is going to be a message from the 16th through the 23rd, whatever comes out, okay? Alright, what messages do you have for Libra? Do you have wisdom? You have fertility? Okay, you have Passion Ignited and <laughs> Rest and Rejuvenation. All right, and let's see. On the bottom of the deck, you have Rejoice and Celebration. All right, so cool. Um, it looks like uh, you've been in hermit mode for a minute, just probably keeping to yourself, working on your pinnacles. Okay, so um, with this fertility here, some of you could be expecting a baby. There could be a pregnancy here. Also, um, this could have something to do with your money. Maybe you're working on your money or whatever. Also, um, this could seriously be a pregnancy here. There's rejoicing, celebration, passion ignited, fertility here. Okay, so yeah, maybe there was some passion ignited and you know. <laughs> yeah, that part. So yeah, there may be a baby on the way here. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, there is a reason to celebrate here. Also... Like I said, some of you, if it's not a baby, your money, you'll see your money start to prosper. You know, um, yeah, your money is going to take off. So that's pretty good. It looks like you guys are doing some healing. Like I said, rest and rejuvenating, doing, being in hermit mode, getting some downloads from spirit. Possibly, um, hmm, possibly have gained some wisdom and some clarity about a situation or whatever, or, or some situations, period. All right, let's see. You're working on your foundation right now. Like I said, you know, you're pretty much focused on your money, your family, um, whatever it is that you've got going on. That's your main focus. You do have uh, material and spiritual prosperity here. So like I said, your money is looking pretty damn good. You think you're taking authority over your life, you know, doing, handling your business as you should. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Uh, let's see what else is going on for me all right some of you may actually be traveling moving um yeah you have journey here so some of you may actually be traveling. Like I told you, your money is looking good. You have wealthy men here. So this could be either male or female. Uh, some of this travel may involve. Oh, wow. Some of this travel may involve um, your money or whatever. Okay. Maybe you travel for work or something like that. Maybe you're thinking about making a change that will affect your money and it's actually going to work out good for you. Okay. Like I said, with this wisdom, um, someone probably did a lot of growth here, spiritual and uh, um, um, mental here. There's a lot of maturity that I see that has happened here with the situation. And again, someone may be changing residence here, okay? Move into a new location. So, yeah. This could also be job or something like that. Let's see. But I'm thinking it's more of residence. I'm not sure. All right, so let's see. Let's see, let's see what else do I want. So what else do we have for Libra? Something also may be involving an older man. This person may be um, a bit wealthy, you know, so this may be a father figure, uncle or something like that, or somebody in business or whatever. Or like I said, this may be you. Doesn't necessarily have to be a male. This is just masculine energy. All right. And it says have faith in your dreams. This is waxing crescent moon. So whatever it is that you're working towards that you're wanting, it's actually going to work out for you. You may have to do a little bit of traveling to go get it. But um, yeah, it's, it's actually going to work out for you. 
take the time out to, you know, plan and, and uh, figure out what exactly what it is that you want and how you're going to go about it. But uh, yeah, definitely go after it. <laughs> There's going to be reason to celebrate here. So it looks really good for you. Let's see. What else? What other messages do you have for Libra? A win-win outcome is in the forecast. So like I told you, it's looking good for you, Libra. All right. You are good enough, Virgo. Full moon in Virgo. So if there was something that you were doubting or, um, yeah, something that you're doubting, having double-minded, you know, you're double-minded about, you know, um, don't. You know, don't doubt yourself. You know, you have everything that you need to make uh, whatever it is happen, happen. Whatever it is that you want, whatever your heart's desire is, you have the tools to make that happen for you, okay? Just keep that in mind. So don't let anything, um, you know, deter you from your dreams or whatever it is that you want. Go for it, especially with this journey card. Go for it, all right? Nothing is yet set in stone. There may be some emotions running high behind this situation or, or something, this move, whatever it is that you're trying to do. Don't be overwhelmed for it, you know, by it. Just um, go for it, you know, take time to breathe out, you know, relax, relax, relate, release. <laughs> You'll be okay. Things are actually going to work out for you just fine, okay? There is going to be some changes here, like I said, and it's possibly going to be a, a type of journey it may not actually be a physical journey, but this may be a new um, a new way of thinking, new way of living, a different perspective, okay? Maybe that's where that wisdom is coming from. You got a new perspective about a situation or something or whatever. I don't know. Let's see. What does the tarot have to say? All right. What other messages do you have for Libra? Ace of Cups, you got a brand new beginning and love coming. That's beautiful. Let's see. Maybe you're moving towards love. Maybe that's what it is. You're moving towards love, honey. All right, I see you. I see you. Okay. You actually may have to travel to be with this person that you want to be with, okay? Maybe that's why this journey is here. But whoever this is or whatever this is, you're very passionate about this person. There's a lot of love here for this person. Yes, look. Somebody wants to offer this cup of love. I don't know if there's an apology here or something like that. Somebody... Um, somebody may want to offer you an apology, Libra, or maybe you want to offer somebody an apology. However, I think what it is is that if it's not an apology, somebody wants to really express their feelings for someone. Yeah. This person may be a bit confused, too. You may be confused, or this person may be confused. Whoever wants to come in and speak this truth here, they may be a bit confused. They may have other options too. But I think somebody's trying to manifest you. Hmm. Let's see. What else for Libra? All right, Libra. The high priestess. Somebody has feelings for you and they feel a deep connection with you, but they're not saying anything. Libra, this is either you or this person. They're keeping it to themselves, but they can clearly see that there's a connection here. This person, the high priestess, her eyes are closed, but you can actually see that you can see her eyes through her eyelids, okay? So she has an inner knowing. She's keeping things to herself, not really saying anything. There's a tower here. So either something unexpected happened or something unexpected is about to happen. And then you have the Hierophant under here. Something regarding a commitment, a contract, a soul connection. Give me one more. All right, it lands on the Two of Wands and Nine of Wands. Okay, so somebody may be feeling a bit guarded.
Okay. So somebody wants a brand new beginning here. There's a brand new beginning of love here. Ace of Cups. You feel like you can have the Ten of Cups with this person. You want to move towards this person. You have the Two of Wands here. However, she's already holding on to this wand, looking out the window. This wand over here is over here in the corner. So to me, that's not an option. This person has already figured that they're going to move on. They want to travel towards this person that they want to confess their love to. However, they're not expressing it to anyone. They're keeping it to themselves as a high priestess, okay? Knowing that there's a soul connection here, but they're keeping it to themselves. They're not saying anything. This person is closed off, kind of guarded, just watching, but wanting. Keeping it to themselves. Keeping it in stand in hermit mode, not expressing their love. Oh, possibly because there's somebody else involved here but they do want to come together and collaborate with you there could be somebody involved however this could be somebody that just wants to get together with you and collaborate but somebody is closed off wounded behind things that happened in the past and decided on what they want to do for the future hmm Let's see. I kind of want to pull one more. Let me see. Let me have one more. Ten of Swords. Somebody is hurt. Oh, shit. This is somebody from your past. Somebody wants a brand new beginning with you. Someone from your past wants a brand new beginning with you. They want to express love to you. They want this Ten of Cups with you. They want to travel and move towards you and express their feelings towards you. But they're keeping it a secret because of things that have happened in the past that has caused some hurt and pain. So they're keeping things to themselves about this person. Not moving forward. Although they want to collaborate. They want to come together. They want to work together with you. But somebody is closed off. Guarded. Not not speaking. Not saying anything. There is no communication here. So somebody is indecisive on what to do. But it looks like somebody is slowly making their way towards you. Or you towards them. I got the other part of the deck. Let's see. What else? This could be someone from your past. This could be someone that you have children with. With this fertility here, this could be someone that, you know, is possibly pregnant. Or could end up pregnant if you guys get back together. Let me see. Ace of Cups here. I really don't want to take that one because I didn't ask a question. See, there was some type of conflict here between you guys. Um, somebody wants a new beginning after some conflict, trying to one-up each other. Um, it seems like someone was trying to control the narrative of this relationship and things kind of fell apart. And now somebody wants to come back for a brand new beginning. Look, I can't make this shit up. You have the lovers and the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, and under that, you have the Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to come in and express their love. And under that, you have the Six of, of Wands. Somebody wants a victorious outcome with this lovers here. They want this, this relationship back. Wow. Nice. After a bunch of conflict and drama, this is possibly why this person or somebody is guarded here, not moving, because there was some hurt and pain from the past. So somebody is in hermit mode trying to figure out how can they fix this? Is it possible to go back to this? Can we have those Ten of Cups? Can we have these this Ten of Pentacles? Should I open up and express my love to this person? I'm not sure, so I'm just keeping quiet to myself. Who's the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here?
want to talk to him. Why are you trying to talk to him? The Eight of Cups. This is somebody that you walked away from. See, you know what? This is someone from your past that you had a turbulent relationship with. Okay, but there's a lot of love here. So I don't know what happened between you two, but there's a lot of, there's, there's love here. There's a lot of cups here. Okay, somebody is walking away from a lot of hurt and pain and drama. Okay, and they want to go towards this Ten of Cups. It's a possibility that someone has been hurt several times in the past. And they realize that this person that they were dealing with in this relationship, that they really have feelings for them. So they're willing to let go of all these cups of hurt and pain. This, this you know, relationships that didn't work out in the past because they've gotten clarity about something else, about the feelings they have for this person they want this Ten of Cups with. So they're willing to, you know, hell, you know what? I got to let this go, change my ways and walk towards what's going to make me happy. Mm, but there's some conflict though. There was some conflict. There was arguing. There was competition. There was other people involved. Possibly the reason why for the Ten of Swords here. There was other people involved in this situation. So somebody is hurt and guarded. You know, they got a fence around their emotions. So someone else is sitting here. Okay, how can I get this back? I don't know. Let me see. What's the two of wands? <laughs> two of wands clarified by the two of wands and the king of swords. Oh my goodness. Okay, so somebody is being all extra logical about the situation. They're looking at things at how things went down in the past. And what their errors were, they're trying to figure out if they're going to go down the same path. You know, they want to go back with this person. They know they want to be with this person, but they're kind of afraid that things are going to repeat the same way. You know, they want to go back to this, but they want something brand new. They don't want a repeat cycle of this. OK, and they're not sure how to get it. So right now, instead of, you know, thinking with their heart. This person is being very logical about the situation, looking at it from all aspects. Does this make sense for me to actually move back towards Libra? Or Libra, you're thinking, does it make sense for me to move, go back towards this person? I'm afraid that it may end up in this situation again. However, communication is key. I'm just saying, nobody is talking here. That's the problem. There's love here, but nobody is speaking. Nobody is expressing. Let's see. Why is the page of cups? Somebody feels like they're not good enough. That's what that is. Somebody... Okay, I'm sorry. I just got mad. <laughs> okay. Somebody went through a bunch of bullshit in the past with other people that really affected their self-esteem. And somehow or another, I'm getting that someone self-sabotages relationships on purpose because they're having issues with their self-esteem here. Oh, my goodness. This person has been worn down by other people. That's what it is. And they feel that they're not good enough. So they self-sabotage other relationships. Okay. Bringing in this energy. Refusing to give love to the situation. Just being logical. Okay. And this is one of the reasons why this relationships fail. Or relationships after these. Maybe this person went through many cycles with with certain people multiple times and things didn't change in that relationship and it caused this person to shut down, not open up, not communicate, keep things to themselves, guarded, closed off, not really letting love in. Okay. But something happened 
during this connection, something happened during this connection where this person went in hermit mode with this rest and rejuvenate, really got to do some shadow work, thinking about some things, possibly thinking about past relationships and how this relationship ended like it did and why. This person has gained some wisdom and clarity, has possibly been speaking to other people and source, communicating with ancestors and things like that, getting answers about this situation in hermit mode, okay? And they realize that they love this person and they want to come and work this out. But because of things that have happened in the past, they're afraid that it might repeat the same cycle. However, communication is key. Let me see. Why is the Page of Cups here? Ten of Cups. What did I say? Somebody wants to confess their love. Somebody is in love with you, Libra, or you are in love with somebody else and you're keeping it to yourself or your person is keeping it to themselves. They feel like that if they... Because the past, this is not going to work out. This person is looking like, you know, I want to tell this person that I love them, but I don't think it's going to work out. It'd be like as watching as if pigs fly. Okay. And the thing is, is that what needs to happen is communication needs to happen because I feel that someone is feeling like, you know, they're abandoned, left alone. And even if it's this person that wants to come back, um, the separation, both of you guys may be feeling the same way. I'm not sure. But somebody is stuck here. Let me see. Why is a high priestess here? Okay. Somebody's suffering in silence. Somebody is suffering in silence, keeping it to themselves. This high priestess knows what they want. They know they want to come in and express love. They know that they have a spiritual connection with this person. Whatever it is, they've been communing with Source. They've gotten answers on this about the situation. However, they're not saying anything that's causing major anxiety. This person is overwhelmed because they want to come in and communicate passionately. Tell you what they want. Tell you what you want, what you really, really want. They want to move forward with this, but they're stuck. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Temperance. They want to heal this situation. They want to balance it out. Somebody wants to balance it out. They want the communication to open up. They don't want this closed off information anymore. What did I say? They want to take a leap of faith in a brand new direction with this relationship. They want an, a great outcome with this. Okay. They want victory. They want you. Karma's going to step in here and fix this. I'm just saying. I don't know. We'll see. There is a spiritual connection with you guys. I tell you that. There's going to be some type of communication that's going to come through. I don't know if it's going to be you to reach out or the person to reach out. But once communication starts, didn't I tell you communication is key? All right. So once communication starts, there's going to be clarity about this situation. Okay. So that communication with the person from your past. Okay. It's going to clear up a lot of things as an and somebody is going to communicate very passionately. You're pretty much going to possibly be shocked about this communication that you're going to get, okay? And there's going to be forward movement. I'm just saying. Even if you guys don't end up together or whatever it is, there is going to be forward movement. There will be closure or whatever it is. Answers will be given. Whatever it is. If you're in have a blind spot about anything going on with this person open up communication and you'll find out what you need to know all right why is the ten of swords here hangman okay there were some things that happened in the past and somebody is still stuck dwelling on what happened in the past instead of moving forward they're still thinking about the things that happened in the past with this relationship okay However, they're still hanging on to the thoughts or whatever, but eventually this person is going to get out of hangman mode and walk forward because they also want this forward movement with you, okay? This is a soulmate. You have a straight soulmate connection. 
with that six of cups we just saw and this two of cups this is a definite soul making connection i've been saying that all along this is a spiritual connection you have with this person all right that's why it's coming back around let's see why is the hermit here what did you land on <laughs> what did i tell you Somebody is in hermit mode thinking about this brand new beginning. Didn't I tell you you got the Ace of Cups down here twice? Ace of Cups here right next to the Ten of Cups. Your Ace of Cups here just flew over here on this Two of Wands and the Ten of Cups and the Two of Wands again, okay? And also this Page of Cups. So on all four of these cards, this fell out. Somebody wants a brand new beginning. They're not sure how to go after it, okay? They're afraid of the past, repeating the past. There is confusion here, okay? So somebody is not moving. They're in hermit mode, keeping things to themselves. So the question is, what you going to do? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to leave that at that. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. What do you want Libra to know? I wish I had treated you better. I lost myself for a little while. Maybe this situation, maybe you or this person, um, this connection kind of made you um, act in a way that you normally wouldn't. Maybe you were really guarded, you know, because um, this was a deep, deep connection, okay? Somebody says, I wish I had treated you better. This could be your person or Libra. This could be you speaking to your person. This could go, um, this could go, oh my God. <laughs> All right, it says, I want to tell you how I feel. Didn't I tell you somebody wants to come in and tell you how I feel? I told you that page of cups, somebody wants to come in and express their love. They want to tell you exactly how they feel. They love you. All right, I'm starting to understand our connection. Like I said, somebody has matured. They've gained some wisdom here. They've been communing more with Source, went into hermit mode, dealing more one-on-one -on -one with Source, and they've matured and gained wisdom and clarity about the situation in this connection. They know that there's a spiritual connection here. And yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. All right, I couldn't let you get close to me. Like I said, this person, whoever this is, was hurt many, many times in the in the past. They've guarded their heart from new love. This person has set up major boundaries and they refuse to let anybody in. They're doing more friends with benefits than anything, not letting anybody close. And apparently um, this was not equally yoked. At the same time, two people wanting two different things, so it ended here, okay? And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, somebody's starting to understand that, you know, not everybody is going to hurt you and treat you like shit, you know? There's really some good people out here that actually will love on you. All right, um, and then it says, just being near you is intoxicating. I love that. Oh, my goodness. All right, so um, Libra, looks like you do it for somebody. You're you're that one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Mm. Okay. So. All right, more messages. All right, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling has a block or restraint. All right, so there may be some type of codependent issues here. Somebody may be, um, you know, have a fear of abandonment issues, especially this person that has been hurt many times in the past. Um, there might be a little bit of obsession here with this relationship here. I don't think that it's a bad kind. Um, I think what it is is that you, you guys might vibe on a level where it, like it is, it's intoxicating. You know, it's... Um, it's a real connection. Like you guys have a spiritual connection. You're soulmates. And I think you guys feel that vibe because you possibly spent many lifetimes together. Okay. So after going through a bunch of bullshit with a bunch of people, probably both of you, you found each other. And I think that vibe that you guys feel is letting you know, hey, uh, bells and whistles are going off this is your person okay this is somebody that you're supposed to vibe with for a minute if not for a lifetime so yeah this is um 
something that's going on. Somebody may be a bit possessive about the other person. They don't want anybody else to have you. So somebody else is trying to come in before somebody else scoop you up. Okay. So, yeah. And um, I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Somebody may feel like they're blocked. You know, you guys may not be in communication right now. So you may feel like this person has blocked you out. And uh, you're trying to find your way, you know, back to this person's heart or whatever. But I don't think you've ever left. I just think there's a failure in communication here. All right. And then it says acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So, yeah, you guys are definitely not in communication here. Um, it doesn't feel very good. And, uh, yeah, somebody wants this communication to, to begin open up and speak, you know, because uh, somebody is really missing not having you around. So it is what it is. All right. And then it says healing heart, healing from heartbreak, heartbreak. Oh my God. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Okay. So there may be other relationships or whatever that were very toxic in the past, and um, someone may be having a hard time getting over an ex, possibly because they're um, trauma bonded. You know, many things may have went wrong in this relationship and this person possibly tried to do everything that they could to make it work. And no matter what they did, it did not work. And this person is stuck wondering, why am I not good enough? And come to find out it's not you, it's that person that you were dealing with, okay? The previous person that just kept treating you like shit, you know, not allowing you to open up to other people that really care about you, okay? So... Then you have clock, need time, takes time, end time, cycles, time to heal and progress. So somebody is actually taking the time out to heal, commune more with source, like I said, and they gain clarity, wisdom, and, and growth, you know. So they're doing that, and now they want to progress forward. And then it says the dragonfly, be lighthearted, find out things, come into light, adapt, change, and heal. And that's what this person is doing. They're doing shadow work and things like that, and this relationship is actually possibly going to flourish because of the work that this person is putting in if they decide to come back around all right so let's see anything else communication <laughs> didn't i tell you communication is key see communication you have to open your mouth okay open your mouth so that people know what you want you know and speak Look, somebody may want to start off as friends, you know, hey, can we just, you know, get back into where we're talking, you know, but what they really want is for you to be their forever person. They already spotted you. They know you. They know that you guys are on the same wavelength. You vibe well together. This person thinks that when you guys are together, the sex is off the hook and it's not just the sex, it's the whole vibe that you guys share together. So yeah, this person is happy when they're with you, okay? You not saying that they're not happy without you or whatever, but they, they vibe with you, you know? And they're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm digging Libra. Libra, you might be like, hey, I'm digging this person here. You know, somebody wants to take you out for dinner. All right. They want to spend some time with you. Didn't I tell you there is some obsession here? All right. Somebody is obsessed. And it's not just, you know, I won't say they're obsessed like, oh, my God. What is Libra doing? No, this person is like really, really into you. They're sexually attracted to you. They're, they like your vibe. They like their whole, the whole you, the whole package, the good, the bad, the ugly, the sexy, the everything, you know, and this person wants a new beginning with you. All right. So this could be you. This could be your person. Take it how it resonates. Let's see. Messages from spirit and then I'll get out of here because I've been here for a minute. Everything happens for a reason and you will understand why. This In this scenario, you are the student. So, yes, somebody has some karmic lessons to learn here. They had to learn some things about themselves. Learn, grow, get clarity, gain wisdom and insight, especially about this situation, not this one. Well, that one too, you know, learning how to cut things off that no longer serve you, okay? Learning how to get over these people from the past that you know meant you no good. 
learning how to let your guard down after being hurt, okay? Letting people in that really love you. All right, let's see. What else? They miss you. Reach out. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave it there because I've been here almost 35 minutes. So, yeah. But anyway, my darlings, that's what I have for you. I hope this works out for you. And, uh, yeah, be good to people because it matters. Bye.